I sat down with their president and with Samsung. I said, come and invest in America. Because guess what? We now have $50 billion coming to America investing in. And they're building these facilities. They build what they call fabs, factories. They're great big, look like gigantic football fields underneath the a roof. Guess what? You know what the average salary in those is? And you don't need a college degree? $112,000 a year. And they're coming all over America. And thanks to what we call the bipartisan infrastructure law is a fancy way of saying we're building a hell of a lot. I've signed, uh, I, that I signed, there are over 40,000 projects underway. Remember, um, the last president, he kept talking about infrastructure week. He had infrastructure week for four years and didn't do a damn thing. Oh, no, I'm serious. But guess what? We're doing a heck of a lot. In the state of Nevada, I just approved a $3 billion for the nation's first high-speed rail line. $3 billion. It's going to take you from here to Las Vegas, well, from Las Vegas to Los Angeles, in two hours by train instead of four hours by car. At 186 miles an hour, also reduce carbon emissions. It will take 3 million vehicles off the road, helping the air quality. And it's going to create 35,000 jobs during construction, 10,000 union jobs building trades, carpenters, electricians, iron workers, laborers, and more. And jobs now and jobs beyond, and generating significant economic growth from Nevada to California. That includes transforming California with another high-speed rail line coming down from the south, going through the central part of the state. Guess what? There's over, they're gonna, that train's going to go 220 miles an hour. <laughs> Things are changing, folks. We have to get with the rest of the world. We have to, we, we're the best, we're the most innovative country in the world. What the hell have we been doing? No, I'm serious. Think about it. And look, just like Franklin Roosevelt signed the Rural Electrification Act back in the 30s, he provided electricity for every home and farm because it was necessary. Electricity was the new need. And rural areas and poor folks couldn't afford it. So we signed the Rural Electrification Act. Well, we're bringing high-speed internet everywhere in America. Because internet today is just as essential doing business as electricity was then. <clears throat> so far, that includes nearly 270,000 households across Nevada are paying less than $30 a month now for internet instead of two to three times that amount. So children can do their homework. Businesses are able to thrive. Farmers and ranchers can know when the best time to sell their product is. And by the way, we're ripping out every poisonous lead pipe in America, so every child, not a joke. So every child can turn on a faucet and drink clear water without worrying about brain damage. And guess what? It's creating thousands of good union jobs. The one state I don't have to talk about gun violence in is here. I've been hearing the tragic times that occurred here in this state. We passed the most significant gun safety law in decades, but I want to make clear to you, I will not stop until I once again ban assault weapons and high-capacity magazines. There's no rationale for it. None. 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 I mean it. I did it once when I was a senator, and I will do it again. Look, we're saving the planet with the most significant investments in climate change ever, ever, anywhere, anytime, in the whole entire history of the world. And that includes, just in your state, an investment of $12 billion in clean energy provision. So, than that, so you'll be a national leader in and electric vehicles, batteries, more, creating tens of thousands of jobs and generating significant economic growth. 